In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can configure an aileron model for hardware in the loop testing. We have a model of an aileron actuation system with a hydraulic actuator, controller, and mechanical model of the aileron. To this point, we have been simulating with a variable step solver to ensure that we get accurate results. Now that we wish to run this in real time, we'll need to configure this model to run with a fixed step solver. However, a portion of our system is numerically stiff. We need to find the right configuration of solvers in order to enable this to run in real time. We'll use the Simscape local solver to do this. We could simulate the entire system using a fixed step implicit solver. However, this would require more computations than is necessary on the non-stiff portions of the system. A more efficient configuration would be to use an implicit fixed step solver on the numerically stiff portions of the system and then use an explicit solver on the rest of the system. We'll configure our model, generate code, and then download it to the real-time system. We'll see that the simulation results with the fixed step solver match the reference results obtained with the variable step solver. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see how this is done. Here's the model that we're working with. We have a three-dimensional mechanical model of an aileron modeled in sim mechanics. Our hydraulic actuation system is modeled in sim hydraulics. You can see check valves, pipelines, pressure relief valves, and a double acting cylinder. Our control system is modeled in Simulink. To walk through the process of configuring this model, we'll use this MATLAB script. First, we need to obtain a set of reference results. We'll obtain those using the variable step solver ODE15S. Here in this animation window, you can see how the aileron is moving. We'll save these results to a MATLAB plot so that we can easily compare them with the fixed step simulation results. Now we'll configure the model for real-time simulation with a fixed step solver and rerun the simulation. You can see that we have changed to solver ODE3, an explicit fixed step solver, and we have enabled the Simscape local solvers in the solver configuration block. We'll take these results and compare them with the variable step results. We can see that they compare quite well. If we look very closely, we can see that the fixed step results match the reference results very closely. Now that we've done this, we'll generate C code from the model and download it to our real-time target. So you can see we're generating C code. This is our real-time target, which is running XPC target. We're going to download the model to this system, and the results of the simulation on the real-time target will be displayed on this monitor. You can see that the code has been downloaded. Next, we will set the simulation mode to external so we can view the results on this scope. And now we will start our simulation on the real-time target. You can see the simulation results on the Simulink scope as well as on the monitor connected to our real-time target. The simulation is complete. We were able to complete the simulation without any overruns. We'll now add these results to our plot and we can see that the results from the real-time target match our reference results and fixed step results from the desktop almost exactly. So we can see that we have managed to configure this model for real-time simulation and we simulated it without any overruns. In this demonstration you have seen how we can configure a model for real-time simulation and run it on a real-time target.